when two of your customers merge due to an acquisition, wouldn't it be great if you could easily combine all of their transaction history into one account? Well, you can using Sage Backpack ERP's Customer Number Change module. Prior to version 5.5, this module was sold separately, but it's now built into your Sage Backpack system. So let's jump right in and see how it works. For this tutorial, let's suppose that one of your customers, Mr. Ronald Black, has acquired one of your other customers, Mr. Jim Blue, and we want to merge the two companies and all of their transactions under Mr. Ronald Black. To do this, we'll go to Accounts Receivable, double-click the Customer Number Change icon, and open the Number Changer. We'll click New, and we're presented with three actions, Change, Combine, and Copy. Change replaces the old customer number with a new one and removes the original number from the system. Combine allows two or more customers to be consolidated into a single customer, and Copy allows you to quickly create a new customer based on an existing customer account. For this tutorial, we'll select Combine. When combining companies, all of the source customer's records, including account balances, history, and transactions will be merged into the target customer's account. So, continuing with our scenario, let's locate and select Mr. Jim Blue, which is the source customer, and then locate Mr. Ronald Black, the target company that will ultimately contain the combined records. At this point, you can also make changes to the short name and customer name. We'll modify the customer name to reflect the merger. Note that you can also change the customer number, but only after you have combined the companies. And now clicking OK adds this entry to the change list. Prior to posting, you can make changes to any change list entry, although you can't modify the original change action. You can also add additional combined change and or copy entries to the change list. You don't have to post the changes now, you can save the change list and come back later. Before posting the changes, it's extremely important that you make a backup of your Sage Backpack data. We strongly caution you not to overlook this step. Also, you'll need to make sure that no other users are logged into your Sage Backpack system when posting the change list. And now we'll click Post to make the changes. You'll be given one last chance to back up your data, so don't miss this opportunity if you have not done so. Once completed, you can review and print message logs by clicking the message log icon on the toolbar. The audit log shows the successfully posted entry, and looking at the error and warning logs, we can see that there were no posting problems. To print any of the logs, select the log, then click File, and print. Before we conclude, it's important to mention that you can also import your change list items into the Customer Number Change module. This is a great time saver if you have numerous changes to process, but we'll leave importing for another tutorial. And finally, beginning with version 5.5, your Sage Backpack system also includes built-in vendor number, GL account code, and inventory item number change modules. Be sure to give us a call if you need assistance with any of the Sage Backpack number or code change products. Well, that's it for this tutorial. Bye for now.